Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Clara Z and I do videos on luxury handbags and fashion items. So today I am really happy to share with you my latest addition to my handbag collection, which is the Fauré Le Page tote bag in the size 32. So you can see what this looks like in terms of the front and the back. What I really like is the small details. There are leather tabs along the four corners of the bag to reinforce the bag to give it extra protection. And as you can see, there is some leather piping along the bottom of the bag, which reinforces the bottom of the bag that the handles are adjustable so if you're wearing a winter jacket you can make it longer or shorter depending on your needs and on the inside it is a cloth canvas it's just one big hole there is a small back pocket here which has two slip pockets that's made out of leather it has an embossed emblem at the back and here it says Foray Le Page Paris so this is made in Paris. Sometimes what I like to do is carry a smaller bag within the larger bag so in case I need a grab-and-go for lunch or if I just want to leave my large bag in the office and go out to grab a coffee or something like that I will carry my Prada re-edition bag within the large bag and as you can see it fits no problem and in case you're wondering it does fit a four size paper i put an a3 folded in half a4 and that fits absolutely with no problem so i'm going to talk a bit about the heritage and my first impressions on this bag so according to various websites the brand originates from 1717 and actually it started off in weapons apparently this brand is older than Goyard or Moynat and they really didn't delve into handbags until 2009 and in fact this monogram which you can see here is slightly different from the Moynat or the Goyard one. The monogram is derived as a traditional hallmark of master gun makers and the monogram resembles chainmail or even dragon scales. So apparently this monogram is handcrafted and then it takes four months to complete through some sort of screen printing process and then after that they put some grains and wax on top of that to give it the glossy appearance and apparently the extra layer gives it moisture protection which is actually quite good because Hong Kong does have high humidity especially during the summer months. So just to give you a couple of my first impressions of the bag, I like the bag because it's unique. So some other brands that also make some very good tote bags are Louis Vuitton, Moynat, and Goyard. However, I wanted something a little different. I also really like this size. This is in the size 32. I know it also comes in the size 37. However, the size 32 is just slightly smaller than the medium Louis Vuitton MM tote. You can see the sides don't jut out as much. It's more straight. And I find that against my body frame, it works really well. Well, I also find that this bag is quite light and the canvas is pretty sturdy but good enough that it will hold up well over time and it does mold into my body quite well. So although I haven't used this bag very much, I've heard that over time this tab could kind of flip out and you can start to see that it's flipping out a bit already. However, I've heard that if you curl that in, that should help it. Or another idea, which I haven't tested yet, is to actually put this on the last setting just to kind of straighten out the strap so that could help it. So overall, I do highly recommend this bag. It is very lightweight and it's actually quite refreshing to be wearing a tote after using smaller handbags for a while. As you know, a lot of these handbags do get very heavy and I generally prefer to distribute the weight by using a cloth bag and my handbag so that I can use my handbags and also use the cloth handbag for heavier items that may stress out my bag and carry them on different or same shoulders but it's also a way of rotating the existing bags I like that I want to wear on a regular basis but not necessarily strain or stress the bag in case I have larger or heavier items to use. 
So I hope you've enjoyed this first impressions video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. And if you haven't done so already, please do like and subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram at clarazila. So I hope you have a fantastic day and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye now.